Hey everyone, this is uh, a short recap of our discussion we had during the Q&A this Friday, the 24th of September in the Applied IoT course Expert Competence. And um, first I would like to say that it was a nice discussion. We had two, two people that joined in, so uh, and uh, that was really nice to get to meet you. And what I have in mind for this short session is a just a short like discussion about uh, what will happen uh, during the next workshop. Uh, we have a workshop that is taking place on uh, the sixth sixth of October. That is our next uh, workshop session and that will take place in Växjö and in Kalmar and uh, more details will come uh, very soon but it's still uh, plenty of time it's still it's not next week it's the week after that uh, but the plan is that we will spend some time meet it to meet each other uh, we will meet in both Växjö and Kalmar and in Växjö it will be Hattem that will be joining you and in Växjö it will be me uh, the first uh, uh, the first um, uh, hour of this, it will be until 14 to 1500, that will be presentations uh, of um, all our projects. So you'll have a chance to present your project and uh, what challenges you have and uh, what you think lies ahead. And we will have a sort of a roundtable discussion. So the first hour during that workshop will be both virtual and and on um, uh, physical. So we will uh, have this as an e-meeting and at the same time, well, also spend time in both places. Uh, so please uh, put that in your calendar. It's already in the planning document, uh, but please make sure that you don't miss this. And if you can look at the planning, we have the first physical workshop, Wednesday, the 6th, uh, 6th of, of October, which is in 1.5 weeks from now. Uh, but the first part of that workshop will uh, be like, we, we will connect uh, probably uh, with a Zoom meeting and have a presentation of our projects. And then we have yet a couple of hours where we can spend in the lab and uh, both helping each other out with projects and also get opportunity to, to meet each other. And that is sort of the plan for the first workshop. Uh, we, we might also prepare some, some additional material, but that is in essence what uh, we have in mind. The second workshop, which will be later on, uh, is the workshop when we will all meet up. The physical workshop number two, that will be the 27th of October. And then we will meet everyone. Uh, maybe we will make a poll uh, where to meet, uh, but it, it's either Vec or Kalmar. Uh, of logistical reasons, I guess there will be more votes on, on the Vecro team than on the Kalmar team. But uh, let's uh, see, see where we end up for, for that uh, workshop. Uh, so and more information will, will come about this. Uh, we uh, spent some time discussing some the, some problems with uh, using the port P16, and uh, it didn't work for uh, uh, a sensor. And then um, the problem was to change the pin to another pin, and then it worked. And I'll show you something which might be useful. There is a pin out diagram for the low pi four which you can find on the PyCom website. And if you look at this, you can see that there is, oh, that's behind me. But if you look at the P16 to P13 pins, there is a, um, a skull. Uh, it's, um, uh, these, these are uh, pins without, uh, 
in an internal resistance. There is no pull up or pull down uh, resistor built in for these ports. Theoretically, it should work if you connect an, an external pull up or a pull down resistor. But the best way to proceed, I would say, is to use any of the other pins. But please make sure that the pin that are, you are using does have an uh, analog, analog and digital converter. Most of them do. Uh, you can read in the pinout diagram what uh, the specific uh, specifications of, of, of this hardware uh, is found. And also, if you are going to use LoRaWAN, there are a couple of, of ports which you should avoid as well as these are also connected to the modem on, on the board. Uh, so if, if, if it doesn't work and you don't know why, uh, try to look into the pin uh, diagram and it might help you out. So that was sort of a very short recap of, of some of the problems that we discussed during the meeting. We did also have some discussions about LoRaWAN and what to think when when you're choosing your your project uh, and it's not required that you use LoRaWAN and uh, but i think that this is really a big takeaway that you can take advantage of during this course uh, please uh, take that opportunity to explore that protocol uh, both LoRaWAN, uh, I think that's very, uh, a very hot topic at the moment as the, all the municipalities and a, a lot of, of technologies uh, evolving around LoRaWAN. Uh, and it's one thing of just connecting a, like a, a out of the box sensor to a LoRaWAN network, but it's a totally other thing to uh, do it yourself and experience every, every part of the chain. Uh, and that's really the point of the course. So please have that in mind, even if it's not the optimal choice for your application, please spend some time, explore it. I think you will, uh, you will uh, get a benefit from it. Uh, we did also have some discussions about energy consumption and um, that is one thing that I have in mind for the workshop number two. We'll most likely spend some time measuring the energy consumption for all our projects at that time. And at that time, you should be up and running with some kind of project, some kind of hardware. And then we'll measure them and then try to see what the energy consumption is and how to do anything about it to optimize it. Uh, there are more lectures coming and there will be more uh, lectures. Uh, and especially if we look at uh, the next week, uh, let's see if I find this uh, here now. If we look at the next week, we do have a lecture on hardware and there will be yet another lecture on sensors and analog digital converters. So next week we will have uh, two lectures. And um, I will also be online on Friday afternoon next week, uh, but uh, probably I'll be online just after the lecture ends, just to pick up some questions and feedback. But otherwise you will see me every Friday. That's the plan. Um, I think that is about it. Um, I thank you very much so far for um, your time. And uh, I also want to thank uh, the Christopher Aid, which has been uh, keeping a good standard on the workshops this week. Uh, much appreciated. And if you do have any feedback of any kind or questions or concerns, just raise them to me. And the easiest way is to do that directly in the Discord. Or we can also meet each week on, on Friday afternoons.
and just chat about everything, anything and everything. Uh, so thank you and have a nice weekend.